And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to helping you win in any marketplace. We're going to educate, entertain, enlighten, and most importantly, we want to engage with you in an effort so that we can help you win, sort through a lot of the nonsense out there in the mainstream media, and giving you non-commissionable advice here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Now, we want you to save our hotline number in your phone because at some point you're going to need it. 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. And we want you to check out our website, consumerqb.com. You can see links to all of our expert contributors uh, on our website. I implore you to check out consumerqb.com. You can see links there. Uh, contact form. You can submit a contact form that's going to come back directly to uh, my team. And we're going to get back to you before our head hits the pillow. Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today. Vincent Jackson. Good to have you in studio, man. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Appreciate you having me. Hey, my pleasure. So real estate mogul, entrepreneur now, and you uh, former three-time pro bowler, buccaneer. Awesome to have you in. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure. You know, um, the been working the last couple of years on this transition. And uh, fortunately, you know, I was able to, you know, earlier in my career, start thinking about life after football and, and putting those things in place that were going to allow me to transition. And um, couldn't be more thankful and, and blessed to be in the Tampa community. I mean, such a great area, um, the growth, the business, and, and, and the opportunity here for the things that I'm um, really, you know, keyed on with um, business development, the real estate market, and of course, the philanthropy. Very philanthropic town, you know, big military community. It uh, aligns with a lot of things that I support. So um, it's, it's a good time to be here. Awesome. Good stuff. I want to dive deeper on that as well. We also have Connor Keller in the house. Insect IQ. Welcome in. Hey, Brandon. Good How you doing? You. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming in. Hey, first of all, I want to start off by saying go Bucks. Yes. And I'm kind of starstruck sitting here next to Vincent Jackson. So, <laughs> Just your neighbor uh, now. <laughs> yeah. But I've always had a great deal of respect for Vincent as a football player and, uh, you know, what he's done in the community. So that has a lot to do with it as well. But I, I want to talk about Africanized honeybees today. Uh, you know, I've personally been dealing with them and unfortunately been stung several times in the last few weeks. So wow. I think it's important. You're not, you know, I know what I'm doing. So yeah, right. you know, what, what do you do as a consumer, a homeowner, a business owner, if you come across them? I think I have some good information to, you know, maybe save you some pain one way or the other. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah. Part of our expert contributor panel, Connor Keller here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes. I'm a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay and helping our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. And I want to give a shout out to our hotel partner, Bill Maher Beach Resort over in Treasure Island is the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, Bill Maher Beach Resort, whether you're planning a business outing, a wedding, or just a fun time away uh, with the family, it's filled with fantastic and generous amenities to make your vacation that much more special. Check out Bill Maher Beach Resort and uh, let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives. All right, let's jump right into it. So Vincent Jackson here in studio. Uh, man, you know, I think that's one thing I really wanted to talk about is the transition from the Bucks. You know, I played football at USF. Right. I was on the inaugural team and, uh, you know, passionate about football. Love that. But I always knew there was something after football, as as most uh, come to find out, some sure. the hard way and some more of a planned uh, outing as yourself. So, yeah, how does I wanted to say, you know, how does the mental you know preparation, how does that play into your life transition there? You know, I think that, uh, you know, we, we were talking a bit before the show and, um, you know, being a former athlete and, and understanding, you know, the, the dedication and all the skill sets that you pick up grinding through, whether you're playing high school, college level and even, you know, fortunate to play at the, the professional level. Um, there's a lot of parallels there that I think that, you know, support entrepreneurship, support um, organization and, and, and running businesses. Um, and even think about the military, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, absolutely. You know, the disciplines and, and the teamwork and the unselfishness. So, um, you know, like running a business, you know, like any other thing, it's, you know, it's not so much about the titles or, or the leadership, you know what I mean? It, it, those are important, important pieces. But um, I've always believed in being a servant leader. And the best coaches that I was always around, whether, you know, college level or high school level um, or even professional, um, these guys really got in the trenches with you. They, they spoke to you. They spoke your language. You know, they, they embraced the players and, and, and the engagement and the sacrifice commitment we were making. So I try to just take a lot of that that mental game um, yeah. from from the sports to to my office and, and really, you know, 
treat my my staff like a team. Yeah, and, uh, that's what we are. Yeah, that's awesome, man. The mindset, the attitude, you know, the, the setting the positive intention exactly. you know, for the day, you know, focusing on the things that really matter, you know, right. versus some of the distractions. Uh, and, and, you know, there's so many distractions these days with the social medias that, you know, all the different distractions we have. What would be your advice to, to you know, some of the kids out there, maybe sure. coming out of high school, going into college, you know, dealing with, um, you know, all these different pressures, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, it is a tough time. It's a different day and age than when you and I were growing up and yeah. and, and coming up and, and playing sports or, or, or anything. So, um, you know, my advice, you know, is I go to speak a lot of schools and, you know, different age groups from middle school, high school. Um, is just, you know, balance. You know, I think that's mm -hmm. very, very key, you know, for, for technology is a blessing, you know, for all of us. I mean, it's really con connected our world yes. on a global scale and, and really made things um, a lot more efficient for all of our lives. But at the end of the day, you know, there are some, some caveats with that and some, some downfalls with you know, getting engaged or getting pressured into doing the wrong things, using those devices um, for, for ways that can, can hurt people and harm yourself. So right. um, just having balance, being very careful about things you put out there, um, always being aware that, you know, it's it, once it's out there, it's out there and, and you're really exposing yourself. And that network is infinite. You know yes. I mean? It's going anywhere. So um, just really considering that and, and continue to educate yourself. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Investing in education, you know, f learning. And I, and I think that's one of the keys, too, about the technology where we're, you know, living in the best time to be alive as a human being. Sure. You know, what a great time to be alive. Uh, people can literally, you know, decide, you know, they can make a decision in an instant to change their life. They can say, hey, um, you know, my parents want me to do this, but I'd, I'm more interested in this. And they can mm. go with what they want to do. And then you jump on the internet, YouTube, wherever, and you, <laughs> and you can research virtually any topic and become pretty much an expert in a matter right. of 50, 60, 70 hours if you invest it right. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, yeah. again, you know, being, a, being a, a parent myself, I started thinking about that in the future and what's going to happen in the next 10, 20 years. Um, can only imagine because what we didn't have 10, 15, 20 years ago. So, right. um, you know, it's just part of evolution, man. It's part of our society, development of our country and our world. So, um, it, you know, take with a grain of salt. I mean, it's good things that come with it. And there's also things you got to be aware of. That's so, right. Um, you know, I'm, I definitely love technology. You know, we get a lot of use out of it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of positive things. But um, again, I'll, I'll always go back to, you know, understanding there's core values and there's nothing like good old fashioned, you know, face to face, you know, interaction and, That's right. and, and validity to substance and, and relationships yeah and I, and I think that's a big part of it by the way if you just joined us i'm your host brandon brimes we're talking with vincent jackson here on the consumer quarterback show and i think that's a lot of the the issues that people see is because they're texting or or, or behind a keyboard they're a little bit more uh you know a little tougher you know sure. keyboard warriors right uh, but that i think that's one of the challenges that we've had to navigate as we move uh, into this technology you know driven world that we're in this yeah the challenges it, it is you know and, and i'm sure you know you think about these kids playing video games and now they can put the headsets on and, and be whatever character they want to be. So that's really transitioning into this, you know, the, the technology and social media and communication as well, because like you said, you create a profile and you put images up or you can put, you know, posts up that may not even be accurate to what's reality. Yeah. And um, no one else would know that except you and maybe those close to you. So, um, you know, again, that's part of that education for, for people when they go out there and they're looking for information. Um, understand that not everything out there is going to you know, benefit you or be accurate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you there. Now you'd mentioned early, you know, earlier in the interview, your, your coaches, what, yeah. who, who were some of your favorite coaches and what were maybe some of the lessons they taught you? Um, one of the first guys that sticks out is, um, a college coach I had by the name of Ernest Collins. And, uh, he was actually the guy that recruited me to go to the university of Northern Colorado. And, um, you know, Ernest was a, a special teams coach, a defensive backs coach. And, you know, the, the best thing that Ernest always gave me was just, you know, belief in yourself. And he really gave this, like, you know, no matter the situation or a bad play happens, whatever, just bounce back and just know that, tune all that out, all yeah. the noise out, and just believe in your training, trust your training, trust your hard work, and go back out there and make a play. Yeah. And, you know, Ernest was able to get me to remove my, my red shirt. Um, so I actually played as a true freshman there because basically of, of his convincing and influence on the head <laughs> coach. Um, and he got me out there. I was able to be an All-American as a, as a true freshman playing special teams, just returning kicks and punts. And, wow. you know, I didn't even play a lot of receiver at that time. I didn't even start as a receiver at a Division two school until I was a junior. Wow. You know what I mean? So yeah. I really worked my way up the, the ladder. And, and Ernest was a big part of my development because he kept me focused to not hear that noise about, well, you know, you should be playing more or maybe do you, should you transfer because you're losing your, your career college opportunity here right. by not being on the field. Yep. You know, so I just kind of tuned all that out. You know what I mean? Went to yeah. work every day, took care of my education, was always first and foremost. And uh, when my time came as a junior, senior, um, and I was able to play more, um, I took care of business.
Yeah, it's interesting, man. And you sure did take care of business. Uh, great career. Thank you. Uh, and, and, you know, sometimes when you think, because I left USF, I played D3 ball up in Virginia. Okay. And people say, oh, you, you know, they kind of minimize that D3 or D2 level ball. But, you know, I was playing quarterback and, and a lot of the teams, they would have the back. They would do exactly what you mentioned. They would recruit the backup from Florida State or Texas yes. or Oklahoma. So you're literally you're going against a bunch of, you know, number twos from a D1 school. But yeah. at that D3 level, they were fast. They were bigger, faster or stronger a lot of level there's some good talent there there is and, and the nfl does a great job i would say they probably do a better job than ncaa as far as getting fillers out there and really exploring every avenue for talent um you know i didn't get highly recruited from colleges you know what i mean i think there was a a handful of of local schools and division two II, division three schools um in aia that just came and they do their normal tours in different cities right. and they kind of see you know shake the trees and see what falls out maybe they'll find a gym there sure um but the bigger schools, the big programs, Miami's, Oregon's, Cal's, they're going to go straight to, you know, online, who the four-star athletes, you know, who's going to be at these Nike camps, things that I just didn't have exposure to, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's a different type of recruiting process. When you get to the NFL, they don't care what level you're on, you know yeah. what I mean? You can be Division two, Division three, whatever it is, they're going to find you, and if you got a skill set, they'll give you a chance. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I want to talk some real estate when we come back with sure. you, and uh, more from our expert contributor here in studio, and we have a feel-good story of the week. Elon Musk pays for new water filtration systems at all Flint schools. Stay with us right here, Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Jarek Robbins. You are listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show with Brandon Rimes. Please do what it takes to learn all that you have to to live the life you want to live, live it fully, and find a way to give it by paying it forward to others. Get in touch with Brandon online at consumerqb.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. 
All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, published author, professional speaker. Check out our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves. We'd love for you to check out that book, uh, kind of the prequel to our business. We launched with Ken Shamrock, UFC Hall of Famer, and... Um, to, you know, four-time world champion Ken Shamrock on the Business Growth Celebrity Academy. Check out bgca.co for more info on that. And uh, we're here in studio helping you win in any marketplace. That's the goal of our show. Uh, we've got an interview going on with Vincent Jackson here in studio. Jackson in action. And uh, very, very philanthropic, uh, Vincent, and doing a lot of good things in the community. Uh, you got yeah. any events coming up? Yeah, you know, the uh, the Jackson Action 83 Foundation, man, has been been just a labor of love. It's really been awesome here. You know, I got here in 2012 as a free agent and, um, you know, I knew right away that this was a, a very, very philanthropic town, a strong military community with McDill Air Force Base in our backyard. Um, you know, they, they welcomed me with open arms, been able to engage with that base. And so I wanted to launch the foundation, which is, um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, athletes have foundations to, you know, increase their brand. But, you know, for me, it's, it's near and dear to my heart. You know, yeah. I, mean? I started it because I grew up a military brat. My, uh, brat. my dad served 21 years in the army and uh, bounced around understanding what military families go through. So um, it's truly a passion that I have to support and reach out and, and, and these active duty men and women, their families, their children. And um, it's been absolutely great each and every year. Our programs continue to develop and evolve. A lot of generous businesses that support us um, in kind and, and through um, financial donations. So um, it's been great, you know, really, really focused a lot on the kids and that family structure. Um, upcoming events, one thing I think right off the top of my head, um, we have our birdies and brews, uh, golf tournament on November 9th. Um, that's going to be at Cheval uh, Golf and Athletic Club. Um, we're taking registrations right now online. You can go to www.jacksoninaction83.org and um, you can register. Register a foursome. Um, there's sponsorship opportunities. Um, you got a business that wants to come out and, and maybe um, donate some items or do some promotions. Um, we're open about that. We're a community driven foundation. Um, and we just want to support these families. You know what I mean? Every dollar, yeah. every dollar we raise goes to, right, right to the programs. And it's, uh, it's been awesome to do. That's awesome, man. Thanks for doing that. That's great. Uh, my dad was an MP in the military. Nice. I didn't have a chance to serve. I, I, I was recruited by the Naval Academy. I took the trip and everything as sure. an option quarterback, but too long a trip for me, too <laughs> cold up there. Yeah. And, you know, Annapolis, Maryland, you know, but so, you know, my hat's off to those that do serve and those that, you know, pay the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, and thank you for doing what you did, man, with thank your you. setting up the foundation. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, kind of speaking of that, you know, with kids moving around a lot, mm -hmm. you know, man, that's a challenge for kids, you know, in the military and not in the military. It is, you know, again, um, you know, you think about athletes and, and I think about what, what comes to mind is, are coaches, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, coaches are a very transient job, you know what I mean? Two, three yes. years here and there and you're bouncing around. I got guys my age that have been coaching for a while and, you know, they've been in, you know, eight different cities, you know mm. what I mean, in a matter of 10 years, 12 years. So um, just think about military life. It can be a challenge, but once I got older and I, and I matured and looked back at that, I really saw it as a blessing. You know yeah. what I mean? It made me more well-rounded, um, exposed me to a lot of cultures, you know, at an early age, living overseas for a little bit. So a lot of things that you may not get by living in the same neighborhood and same yeah. house. For, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but yep. um, it's a gift, I think, looking back at that I was able to uh, to experience that. Yeah, when you when you see different paradigms, you know, you do different things. I remember I went through kind of what I joke about is the Garth Brooks stage. I was in a right. small town, so I did high school rodeo. I mean, I rode bulls, I team roped, and you know, so so all those different things that you're exposed to, you mm -hmm. learn something, you pick different things up uh, from just being around it. Agreed, agreed. So um, again, man, I, I absolutely love you know um, support these military families. You know, these guys again, like you said, make the ultimate sacrifice. And I think what kind of you know makes our foundation unique is. You know, there's a lot of foundations out there that support those active duty men and women, you know, the Wounded Warrior Projects, the PTSD things, yeah. all the issues that we support as well. Yes. Um, but I felt that there was a niche that was kind of maybe being overlooked um, when you talked about the spouses yes. and the children. How are they being affected by deployments? How are they being affected by having to transition around and change jobs and, yeah. you know, quit their job and move again because of this, the deployment? So um, I wanted to make sure that they weren't forgotten and we kind of bridge that family structure and make sure that, you know, these guys, these guys knew they were supported and, and acknowledged as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host. We're talking with uh, Vincent Jackson here. Jackson in action, 83.org. Sign up for their uh, event coming up on November 9th, Cheval Golf, uh, the golf club there at Cheval. But uh, yes, get involved with the community. That's one thing I love about our show is we're, we're pulling a lot of local businesses together. We're getting involved. We're trying to keep it local, supporting the local community. And I wanted to ask you about Coach Dungey. Dungey get yeah, yeah. involved, uh, got uh, inducted into the ring. Yeah, I was actually, I went to the Monday night game and that happened yeah. man. and uh what a what a 
what a class act, you know, his whole family. I mean, everything that they stand for, everything they've done for this community and, yeah. and for the game. You know what I mean? I just have so much respect for that man. And, um, you know, it's an honor. We're blessed in Tampa to have him and have him call this place, you know, his second home. And, um, yeah. you know, I, I look at him as a mentor. You know what I mean? We don't yeah. have a super, super tight, you know, direct connection, but I've seen him at many events. You know what I mean? And um, he's always had that same type of uh, personality of just, you know, lending an ear, lending a word yes. um, and understanding. And yeah. I can see why he has so much success as a coach and obviously now as a, as a professional and as a man and a father and a husband, just a yeah. wonderful man. What a class act. Great guy. Uh, you know, and, and the fact that he has, you know, brings those biblical principles to yes. his coaching style. I mean, I think that speaks volumes for him and the way that he ran his locker room. And uh, I think it resonated with a lot of the, a lot of the athletes. He know. did because he didn't just go with the, the norm or, or, or the you know, status quo. You know what yes. I mean? He stuck to his principles, which was on that spiritual level and doing things a certain way. And, um, you know, there may have been some criticism about it or some people felt uncomfortable about it, but he yeah. believed in it, he That's stuck right. to it. He built a program around it. He built coaches and staff, you know, that could see his vision. Yes. And then you saw the success, you know what I mean? The fruits of that labor really paid off. Yeah, yeah, it did. I, you know, I read his books, Quiet mm -hmm. Strength and, and uh, Common, Uncommon Marriage. Uh, great, great principles that Tony Dungy, you know, brings in there. I'd love to have him on the show. You know, anybody out there would, you know, <laughs> mention that to him. Tony, uh, tune in. I know you're listening, man. Come, come on, on. Tony. get in here. <laughs> so, so yeah, let's, we, we got to talk real estate here on the, on the real sure. estate quarterback show. So, uh, CTV Capital, you know, you guys are vertically integrated. That's really cool. Yeah. Awesome stuff you're doing. Um, so you're, you're involved in, in real estate on a high level. Yeah, it's been great, man. Um, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my business degree, you know, early on. Um, you know, I, I dabbled in a few different things. I'm involved in a few restaurants. Um, I had a couple Orange Theory fitnesses. I, I ran here locally for a couple of years. Um, so, you know, I truly lived that entrepreneurial life. Wanted to get out there and ter touch and learn as much as I could um, to really find out, you know, what my passion was. And I found out it, w it was really with development, yep. with improving communities, you know, aligning with my philanthropic side of, of giving people a little bit of piece of that American dream. Yes. Um, seeing a neighborhood or a street or a block community redeveloped and, and get repurposed and come back to life. Um, I enjoy that. You know what I mean? That's what I really like to do. And that's really the core of, of what CTV Capital and CTV Real Estate, you know, um, tries to do in our community here. So, um, you know, we, we, we dabble in, you know, multifamily, single family residences have been a big core piece of what we've done. Yeah. Um, we again started out West when I was still playing for the Chargers. So we did some development in San Diego, Reno, you know, Nevada. When I got here in 2012 and I saw this Florida market in Tampa and what was going on, I just said, Hey guys, I told my two partners, I think you need to come out here and see what's, what's cooking in Tampa. Yeah. And uh, they agreed, you know, they spent some time out here and we've transferred our whole headquarters here in Tampa, got an office right here in Southside and uh, things just continue to develop, man. It's a good time to be here. Um, and we're just steadily growing organically. You know, yeah. we don't, we don't plan to have some, some big vision of being some, you know, um, you know big multi-billion dollar company. We want to yeah. do good deals. We want to help our community. Yeah. We want to, you know, give people opportunities in job creation and uh, be sustainable. Yeah, that's great, man. That's a great, great way to summarize it there. Because when people do, you know, go that other way, they they get ahead of themselves. Yeah. They, they over leverage, and you know, I think the market's ready for a correction. I mean, I agreed. Yeah, we're, it, we're coming up. I want and it could be healthy. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of people right. say it has been unhealthy. You know what I mean? We should be in the sixes and sevens. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you think about back in the '80s when people were were not even blinking at eleven and twelve. You know what I mean? It was like yeah. status quo. You know what I mean? So now that we've been down so low, I think we've all got a little bit tainted, a little bit, you know. Uh, spoiled, if you will, yes. um, by expecting such low rates. But, um, you know, the Fed seems like they're doing a good job. They've really planned this out on, on making the incremental increases um, at the right time. So, yes. um, you know, there's always going to be feedback on that. And we do have a healthy economy right now. And, yeah. and the market's really good in the housing. So, like you said, I know there's a ton of demand, especially here locally. And what's good about our, our community that I always like to focus on is job creation. Yeah. You know, aligning communities and looking areas where you're looking to develop. Are there jobs coming there? Are there businesses investing there? So you're going to continue to have that flow of demand for rentals or, or, or new purchase, you know, home buyers. Um, and that's really a big market, a, a key that I like to focus on. Absolutely. We've got, you know, we've had all the local mayors on Buckhorn, Christman, uh, Creticus, and they all do a great job, an outstanding job of pulling together and bringing Tampa Bay, you know, to the center. I know Buckhorn was in uh, New York last week talking with Bloomberg and made some sure. stops. But yeah, that's one of the things that are really awesome is, is that, you know, Tampa Bay is really growing together. Uh, we're, we're all working, you know, together to sure. further. But yeah, I, I agree with you, uh, you know, with the economy, things are looking good. People some Sometimes worry about a, a pullback or some mm -hmm. type. I don't think it's going to be as minor. You know, it's going to be minor here versus some of the other parts of the country. Right. They're going to get hit more than we are. And even if something does, I mean, whether it's got to do with these tariff things that are going on or whatnot. Either way, I don't think we anybody should really expect or, or be worried about what happened in you know 08, 09. Exactly. Know, like that's that was kind of you know 
misregulation, you know, lack yes. of regulation and all those things have really been corrected and really been shored up. And could there be other issues with currency that people worry about now? Yeah, there's other pitfalls that lie out there, but um, I really like to try to keep an optimistic approach and, and really believe that we've learned our lesson yeah. and we've got the pieces in place now to, to not go back and make the same mistakes. Absolutely. A lot of those irrational loan programs, they're gone, yeah. they're flushed yes. out. And it's such a landlord's market right now. I, I'm urging people, my listeners, to, to get off the fence, stop renting, buy real estate, stop exactly. renting, you know, paying their landlord's mortgage, that whole deal. Uh, we got about 45 seconds less. Uh, parting words? You know, um, again, just to, to, to harp on that and support that is the fact that, you know, people don't know that they can be qualified yes. to get out there and be a homeowner. And so, you know, what you're paying for rent could be your mortgage. Yes. And if you need help because you have bad you know, finances, there's a lot of tools out there. There's a lot of resources out there to help rebuild your credit yes. so that you can become a homeowner. And That's I, really, right. I really encourage that. Down payment assistance programs. we got William Crowley, the credit magician here on the show. Lots of ways that we can get you into a home. Uh, you know, I would urge you to do it. Leave a better legacy for your family. Check out jacksoninaction83.org. jacksoninaction83.org. Check them out. They've got a November 9th golf outing at Cheval uh, Country Club. A great place to be and uh, support the community. Uh, thanks so much, Vincent. Thank we appreciate you. you coming on. Appreciate it, man. My pleasure. We'll see you right after this short, short break. Elon Musk pays for new water filtration systems at all Flint schools in our Feel Good Story of the Week. We'll see you right after this short break. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate at complete care systems we don't cut corners we clean them Listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. 
And we're back. Brandon Rimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by Platinum MVP Realty, helping you win in any marketplace. We've got a buyer-seller seminar going on, 11300 4th Street North on Thursday, November 8th, 5 to 8 p.m. Come check us out at Cox Media Group, uh, 1025 The Bone Performance Theater. Get a radio station tour, uh, 11300 4th Street North on Thursday, November 8th, 5 to 8 p.m. Buyer and Seller Seminar. Learn how to buy and sell like a pro. And we got uh, catered food provided by Amici's Catered Cuisine. We're going to have our expert contributors there uh, talking about their specializations and ways that you can buy and sell like a pro on Thursday, November 8th. Giving a shout out to WholeBodyFuel.com, the official meal delivery service of the Consumer Quarterback Show is WholeBodyFuel.com. Chef Brian Adamo does a great job uh, delivering these meals. Excellent food. Kevin and the whole team over there, convenient healthy, organic, delivered directly to your home or office. And they also have the world famous protein donuts. And these things are amazing. The food is excellent and it's great for any type of diet, vegetarian, paleo, athlete, uh, wholebodyfuel.com. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on those special offers and incentives. I uh, got a hot real estate property here, 215 12th Avenue Northeast in St. Petersburg. This is a $1.19 million home and it's uh, four bedrooms, five bath, 3,500 square feet. And it's a superior construction than a wood frame uh, built home. It's SIPS panel construction. So it's excellent property here, 215 12th Avenue Northeast in St. Petersburg. Beautiful real estate property. And we also have 1370 Gulf Boulevard, number 401 over on Clearwater Beach. Uh, beautiful property in unit right on the beach. Gorgeous three bedroom, three bath property around 2,500 square feet. And it's right on the beach. Check it out at PlatinumMVPRealty.com. All right. So we got Connor Keller in the house and uh, Insect IQ. What's happening, man? Oh, I'm just trying not to get stung these days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really uh, have been dealing with a lot of Africanized honeybees, and it really becomes a dangerous situation rapidly, you know, even with yeah. the proper equipment, knowledge, skill. Uh, but I was doing a job for a power company here locally. Uh, it was in a backyard uh, in South Tampa. There were bees at the top of the pole. They were trying to switch out. Switch out. So it was kind of a... Uh, yeah. uh, a unique situation to begin with you know not not your typical power line out on the street with the big trucks right um got up there to the pole and they were africanized honeybees and just got attacked and i had my suit on and they found a spot in the soft part of my my elbow and oh, man. i got probably stung 10 15 maybe 20 times i stopped counting after the first few Oof. and i literally had to put my glove over that area to prevent them from stinging me anymore and then the wow. worst part, I wasn't in control of the uh, equipment. The guy on the ground had to slowly back me off of it. Um, the point I'm telling you guys wow. this is, yeah. you know, what do you do if you come across this in your backyard? Yeah. You know, it's, it's not something you can go get the can of wasp freeze in the garage and spray. Uh, one, you know, it's, it's not really going to work. Two, you're going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. you know, even one sting will kill you if you're allergic to honeybees. Yeah. Much less 20, 30, 40 times. Actually, they say 50 stings is equal to a rattlesnake bite yeah so keep that in mind when you're dealing wow. with these guys um so anyways uh you, you if you know what you're doing it's it's probably not as a big deal i was able to go right back in and resolve the issue uh basically we remove the colony from the pole we screen over the holes that they're using to nest in mm. um treat the outside of the pole with a residual pesticide which takes care of the returning field bees um, bees they can be out foraging for food for up to 48 hours um, another thing I'd like to point out, these are honeybees. Africanized honeybees are the same honeybee as a European honeybee, the, what you hear about on the news um, right. that are uh, in trouble in different parts of the world. The problem is they're much more aggressive. They attack you in force um, and will continue to attack you as you try to get away from them. And, and um, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> a cloud of Africanized honeybees can follow you quarter, half mile down the road. Wow. Hopefully you're with somebody else and uh, you can run faster. And then, yeah, 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 that's, that's the thing. That's so, a good one, right? Yeah. So your suit, when you approach these these honeybees, you had just a small crevice in the suit, a small... No, no I had a full suit on. It's my normal bee suit I wear every day. Um, of course, you know, it's it's 100% humidity and 93 degrees. So, of course, it's a little hot outside. And right. You start sweating in the suit as the cotton. It's just cotton. So you it's know, a cotton like a suit. Ah, yes, oh, okay. Uh, gets wet and if enough bees target a certain area and they're hitting you with enough force, you know, yeah. eventually you're getting the stingers. I looked down and I had just, I had a lot more stingers in the suit. Wow. Just a few of them found their mark in my skin below. Yeah. 
So, so they, they try to tag on the same area too. Huh? Yeah, so what happens is once a honeybee stings you, the, that stinger and venom sac basically rip out of the abdomen of the stinger or of the honeybee of the bee, yeah. and then continues through muscle reflex to inject uh, venom into the victim. In this case, it was me. Wow. But also uh, emits an alarm pheromone into the air, which is basically that proverbial target. Mm. That they say it gets painted on your back or in this case, my elbow. Wow. And then the other uh, worker bees in this case that are alarmed by that pheromone will zone in and sting you in that same spot. Wow. Man. Yeah, so it was a good example. And unfortunately, I didn't get video of it. Next time, I'll try to get my video camera out as I'm getting stung and <laughs> yeah. videotape this for everybody. But You weren't thinking about that, yeah, though, were you? It's pretty intense. It's it's like you get a cloud. I mean, literally, it's like a bee tornado around you when you get into these things. Mm. And I would say these wild or feral honeybees I'm dealing with, nine out of ten of them are at least a hybrid. So when you get them mad, they get mad like Africanized bees and attack you. Yeah. like Africanized bees. Wow. So I'm um, going back to my statement earlier. What do you do if you get honeybees in your yard? Um, yellow jackets, that's another stinging insect we deal with on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Even paper wasps under the eaves of your uh, house or in the doorway. Sometimes you get them in the windows. Those are the little wasps that build the carton nest. Um, all of those are stinging insects and all will attack and sting you. Right. Um, as a homeowner, you know, vigilance and maintenance are key. Preventative maintenance, keeping the shrubs trimmed back from the house, the, the soffits cleaned and maintained, um, de your yard free of debris will eliminate a lot of the conducive conditions that would attract stinging insects to your yard. But through, you know, mother nature and randomness, you'll still get the activity in your yard. So you try to take care of yourself you know really be aware of of the risk and and if you don't have the proper equipment and the knowledge some things are actually best to professionals and Absolutely. i really think one of these this is an instance of uh, you know calling a professional letting us come out and take care of it we do that in a safe and humane way uh always public safety in mind of course insect iq and all florida bee removal were licensed and insured we carry two million dollar liability insurance um, a lot of companies are not, you know, you, hmm. uh, the state of Florida allows, uh, beekeepers that don't necessarily have insurance to come out and do commercial bee removals, charge you for uh, removal of honeybees like this. And if they fall off their ladder, um, let's say they're in your wall and they have to cut your wall open and cut into a water pipe or an electricity, you can imagine hmm. if they're uninsured, what problems that could Cause oh, absolutely. Owner, so. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. By the way, we're talking with Connor Keller, insectiq.com here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And um, he's handling, you know, all types of pest management, pest control, uh, everything from your uh, stinging uh, insects that we just described sure. to uh, termites. Um, we've, we've talked on the show about um, rodents and, and different types of animals, even alligators approaching from bats, a, uh, bats you know, because yeah. they have their, their guano is very... It transmit disease, correct? Yes. The um, well, the guano itself isn't the problem. It's a mold spore that, or a, a mold that grows. I'm sorry. Uh, what am I trying to say? Um, a mold spore that is emitted or grows in the guano. And, yeah. And that can cause histioplasmosis in mammals if you uh, breathe that in. Wow. So that's the real problem. And if bats get into your house, into a wall that can build up in those voids and then yeah. combine with moisture that those mold spores are released and you're breathing that even if you're not directly exposed to it, you could still breathe those mold spores. And often if you had an environmental company come in and test your living space, if you have bats in and around your home, those mold spores are present in the air you're breathing. Wow. So this is another instance where as a consumer, you know, if you, if you're vigilant and you look at your house and you look for openings, cracks, crevices, um, construction flaws mainly, these are the types of things that colonies of bats would exploit and move into your house. Mm. Um, I want to change the subject. I don't, I'm not sure how much time we have, but I wanted to talk about ghost ants. It is Halloween yeah. and you know, we're getting into that time of year. Yeah. So, um, But I've getting a lot of calls for ghost ants. Ghost ants are an uh, exotic species. They're not native to Florida, but they've been a big problem over the last decade. Um, they're also often called sugar ants or piss ants. Uh, they're they're abdomen is translucent or clear so they look much smaller than they are and often you'll just see little specks crawling around on your countertops in the sink maybe in the cabinets they're getting into the sugar they're a sweet eating ant they love sucrose so anything that's sugar based sugar itself mm. um candy um, any sweeteners often you'll see them around your coffee pot so because mm. you're pouring sugar in your coffee and you spill a little grain and once one ant gets in and finds that uh, food source, then they recruit the hundreds of thousands of workers and you have them all over your house. 
And most people make the mistake, they'll grab a can of Raid and spray the ants crawling, crawling around on their countertop. And with this particular type of ant, you'll kill the ants that are present, but the ones that survive release the alarm pheromone again. And they take their queens and they spread them all over the colony or all over the house. We call wow. that budding. And then all of a sudden you have them in the bathroom, in the garage, in the laundry room. Mm. So, you know, here again, professional, you know, knowledge and, and expertise, we can come in and safely take care of this issue without all the reoccurring problems. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Connor Keller, InsectIQ.com, uh, our expert contributor in that space, another local business owner uh, talking to the local uh, economy that we have here. Support your local economy, ConsumerQB.com. Also, our feel-good story of the day coming up, Elon Musk pays for new water filtration systems at all Flint schools. Stay with us right here at Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show, and I I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent in Tampa Bay. And we are recruiting agents to our team right now, looking for buyer and seller uh, agents that want to come on over and, and take a look at our robust marketing platform, some of the cool things that we offer, and uh, you know, great teamwork, leadership, a lot of good things happening, and a unique advantage for our sellers. Uh, we've got an opportunity for our sellers to be promoted on our daily show here. So we got 103 South Havana Avenue in Tampa. This is a five bedroom three bath property 2500 square feet and it's in the south tampa area the 33609 zip code and it's in the plant high school district a beautiful property uh, well maintained great opportunity it's an income opportunity uh, as it's being rented out for airbnb right now 103 south Havana avenue in tampa five hundred twenty-five thousand dollars just reduced and it's a gorgeous property 5506 dallas way in valrico river hills country club gated community Pool home on a corner lot, four bedroom, street bath, 3,498 square feet. And this is a one owner home that's sure to impress. The owner is a contractor and he's put a lot of TLC into this home and a lot of superior um, materials and construction methods as well. 5506 Dallas Way, another beautiful property here in gorgeous Tampa Bay. Somewhere, somewhere, sunny and, and I want to give a shout out. 
to our restaurant partner, Curry Leaves Restaurant, Indian Cuisine, right on Kennedy Boulevard in Tampa, just across from the Intercontinental Hotel, West Shore Kennedy uh, intersection there. Curry Leaves Restaurant, Indian Cuisine, excellent food, very tasty food. They got great desserts as well. And uh, let them know that the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives. Curry Leaves Restaurant, say hello to my friend Saji over at Curry Leaves Restaurant on Kennedy Boulevard in Tampa. All right, we're talking with Connor Keller here in studio, insectiq.com. And he's educating us about uh, these different uh, pests, you know, all things pest control, honeybees, uh, bats, removal, uh, rodents, all types of, uh, you know, ways that he can help you here. Uh, when it comes to and I would think Connor it makes sense for people to get into a uh, like a quarterly treatment or how many do you do quarterly treatments is that the idea or is it a couple times a year our uh, main residential maintenance program we actually come out every two months but if you look at the annual cost it turns out to be about the same or less than your quarterly or annual contracts and what that does is allow us to really get out and do integrated pest management we we'll look at the avenues, sources, and conditions in and around the home and address those instead of just spraying pesticides every time or every month or every two months. Um, the industry as a whole has moved away from pest control, which by definition is the routine application of pesticides, mm. whether it's needed or not, but looking more at the environmental conditions. You know, do you have a lot of moisture around your house or the plants touching the walls or do your gutters full of leaf litter? These are all things that can contribute to pest activity that could easily be maintained or corrected without applying any pesticides at all and still provide a pest-free environment inside. The other thing we look at is the, the weather stripping around the doors, the entry points, the windows, the soffit. You know, or, or do we make it easy for pests to get inside? Right. It shouldn't. So, um, you know, all living things need food, water, shelter to survive. So often if you can eliminate one or all three of those conditions, then you won't have pests and won't need to spray pesticides. Yeah. It's really being a better steward of pesticides with the environment and protecting the consumer, their health, and their property. Um, I wanted to point out, ironically, during the break, um, uh, you know, all every, just about everybody in the studio is dealing with ghost ants right now. We were talking about ghost ants before the break, and it kind of drove, drove my point home. It, it's kind of spooky, the coincidence, my Halloween pun again. Yeah. But, they really are out right now everywhere. It's usually a neighborhood problem and, and people are spraying away with, and that's another issue. People buy Home Depot products, home right. defense, whatever. They don't read the label. They just, you know, go home, either pour it in whatever they have or pour it out straight. You know, often it's supposed to be mixed with water. Um, it tells, the label's very important. The label's the law is what we say in our industry, but it also applies to you as a consumer, whether again, it's your business or house that label still the law to you. So right. if you were to misapply it and something happened with the environment or something that happened to your neighbor, you could be held criminally liable for wow. misapplying that product. Yeah. Uh, but it's heavy duty chemicals. It is. Stuff, right? I mean, a lot of that's so watered down, but it still can hurt you. And your, your biggest concern would be maybe an allergic reaction or dermal reaction. If you got it on your skin. Yeah. Um, hopefully, you know, you're smart enough not to apply it around your food or on food prep areas. Those mm -hmm. are your main concerns. Um, but this is another point to hire a professional. Yes. Um, to answer your question, Insect IQ, we have great residential and commercial programs. We don't have any contract with our services. We work off of results. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll provide an excellent service with expert or expertise. Um, we take a scientific approach to everything we do. We offer free service calls between visits if you have any problems. Um, and our contracts are designed to fit your need. Our agreements are fine, designed to fit your need. Um, if you ever need to stop our services for any reason, we don't give you any hassle or penalty, and we want to build a long-term trusting relationship with you as a customer. So um, I, I'd like to offer anybody listening to the show or watching us on TV um, $100 off any new service. If you call me up and, and mention the Consumer Quarterback Show, um, we would extend that to you and, and get you started on a program that fits your needs and your budget. Um, I'd love to work with you guys. Awesome. $100 off offer uh, from Connor Keller, Insect IQ. Uh, just text the word uh, pest control to 813. 813- 670-7372. Just give us a call or a text at 813-670-7372. Uh, just text uh, pest control or $100 uh, offer uh, to our hotline, 670-7372. That's R-E-Q-B as well. So, uh, yeah, Connor, thanks for doing that for our listeners out there. I'd like um, to mention one more thing. It's yes, not sir. just for pest control. We do termite. We do wildlife. 
uh, you know, anything that's that's bugging you, no pun intended, <laughs> call me and I'd be happy to take care of it. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the properties that are on a river or a lake or a body sure. of water. There, there's more, you know, opportunity for mosquitoes, mosquitoes and, and all types of stuff to come up. Spiders. Yes. Uh, mosquitoes have been huge in the news the last couple of years. You heard, I read something in the paper a couple of weeks ago after a hurricane in the Carolinas, they're having a mosquito epidemic mm. and it's all about breeding sites. And that goes back to integrated pest management, what we were talking about before. And it applies to mosquitoes as well. If you look at your property, if you live on a body of water, what you can do is look at things that would hold water in addition to that pond, lake, or stream. Do you have flower pots? Do you have old tires? Do you have, um, you know, a, a garbage can lid? Uh, if anything that will fill up or hold water when it rains, mosquitoes will find and lay eggs in. And if you have those ripe conditions, you're going to have mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are vectoring insects. They don't fly very well. They don't fly very far. They're going to live, eat, sleep, and die in a, in a relatively small area. And that area is generally going to be areas that hold or have water, um, low-lying areas. You know, we, we pretty much get rain most of the year, even light rain, and we'll get areas in our yard that gets wet. Um, there are several different species of mosquitoes in Florida. Uh, the ones that carry Zika are daytime biters and container breeders, Ooh. the Aegis aegypti. So, you know, your typical mosquito problems, you hear about dusk and dawn and avoiding those times of day, wearing mosquito repellent, uh, really don't apply to those disease carrying or disease vectoring mosquitoes that cause Zika and the other big concerns uh, and, and disease transmission. Mm. Um, so really prevention is your best course of action and doing those inspections. And once again, seeking professional help, we offer an excellent mosquito abatement program come out and do a full inspection. Um, usually I recommend this on a monthly basis, especially through the summertime, but do a full inspection of the property, diagnose the problem areas, treat them, uh, use insect growth regulators to prevent re, uh, reproduction, mm -hmm. treat the harbage areas, treat around the house and the perimeter of the property. And we really do provide a mosquito free environment for about three or four weeks, which is about the time we would be coming back for the next service. And once again, there's no contract with that. Yeah. Give us a call. You can take advantage of that hundred dollar coupon or offer that I cool. I mentioned before, and we'd love to take care of your mosquito problem. Yeah, thanks for doing that for our listeners. Hundred dollar offer from Connor Keller, insectiq.com. Just reach out to the consumer hotline. And I got to get to our story here, our feel good story. Tell me something good. Tell me something good. So Elon Musk pays for new water filtration systems at all Flint schools. One of the most popular and innovative billionaires in the world is helping Flint com uh, community schools install new water filtration systems. Uh, FCS announced Friday it will be installing new ultraviolet water filtration systems for water fountains at all 12 school buildings. Thanks to a very generous donation from uh, Elon Musk. Musk donated $480,000 on behalf of the Elon Musk Foundation. And on behalf of the FCS board, we are grateful for the Musk Foundation for his donation, which will ensure that school that students in flint community schools have access to safe drinking water at the source and there's our feel good story uh, for you there uh, connor we got about a minute left uh, parting words parting words of advice well um you know everybody we keep talking about the do-it-yourselfers out there and i do believe uh, there's a lot of things you should do yourself um you know taking care of your home taking care of your family mm -hmm. um you know taking care of yourself obviously but um, there's just certain things in Florida that are going to hurt you. You know, when you deal with venomous snakes, um, we talk about bats, we talk about bees, Africanized honeybees. Um, there's there's so many things that you really should get help with. And there's free expert help out there. You, all you have to do is call me and I'll come out and take a look at everything free of charge and go over options. And sometimes I just give you free advice. You know, that's my main motivation at this point in my life and career is I just want to help people. I enjoy nice meeting people, um, listening to their their problems and seeing if I can help them. Sometimes I may have to recommend somebody else. I just can't help them or I, I can tell them what they need to do to take care of it themselves. We also have done charity cases, you know, where you get the little old lady that's on a fixed you income and you know, she's got that's a $1,000 job. So um, we love working with the news media, you know, anything like that. Uh, 
you know, the, the weirder the better, call us. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Good stuff. That's okay. noble of you, Connor. Thank you. And uh, we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Pack up some food or clothing. Hand it to that person that you see in need. Be a force for good in the community. Follow us online at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram and Twitter at um, Consumer Quarterback Show on Facebook. And we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. Weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you, postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.